welcome to Let's Just Do This, the show where we bring change makers to the table to help empower you to live well and become the CEO of your life and your health. I'm Margaret Wallace Duffy and alongside me is Mr. Todd Miller, my handsome co-host. Fantastic to be back. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? And you know, today I'm really excited because I love innovation and you all know that I love to empower people when it comes to their health. Now the future of medicine is really bringing healthcare and technology together. And today here at Let's Just Do This, we've got an innovator who's doing just that. I had the pleasure of meeting him about a year ago, and what has gone on in the last year has impressed me and is sure to impress you. So you want to stick around to hear all about something called the Mango Mirror. So it's with great pleasure that I get to welcome Dave Dubier from the Mango Mirror. Welcome. Thank you, Margaret. Great to be here. Yes. Now, what an exciting year it has been for you. And, you know, first of all, I love the name of your technology, great, Mango Mirror, but it's progressed beyond just a mirror. Let's talk about first. What is Mango Mirror? Sure, yep. So Mango Mirror, the way I'd like to explain it to most people is to use the example of a car dashboard. So in a car dashboard, you can see things like how fast you're going, how far you've driven. If you've got navigation there, it tells you um, where exactly you are and where you need to get. And basically, Mango Mirror is the same dashboard, but built for your life. So it allows you to choose the metrics that matter to you. And we've got a lot of health metrics in there. So if you're tracking things like your heart rate, blood glucose, blood pressure, or steps, or any nutrition, uh, you can track all that information and have it displayed in a dashboard to you. And along with that, we actually provide you with some, some basic information for your days. So things like your calendar, the weather, the clock, you know, and some news and things like that. So the way that we look at it is that it's a dashboard for your life. So something you look at probably in the morning, similar to the way you would look at in a mirror. Uh, something in the morning, something in the night to see how far you, you've progressed on your goals. We've got goal setting built in there as well. Fantastic. Now, you know, we love to tell stories here, and I truly believe that all great things that happen in life come from a great story. Absolutely. So I, I'd really love for you to share with our viewers and our listeners the story behind Mango Mirror. Here you are, a technology guy. You've got a beautiful wife that's a nurse. You've got two young children yep. and, all, and can relate to the busy lives that we all lead and the juggling that we do. Why did Mango Mirror come about? Can you tell everybody about sort of how this happened? Sure, absolutely. So my background is in business intelligence and data analytics. So I've been a business intelligence consultant for over 12 years with some of the leading Canadian uh, corporations, right? And what I do there is I take all the data that they have and actually present it in a way that allows the users to understand what's going on within their businesses, whether it's sales or profits and things like that, and understand what's going on and actually give them actionable insight in, into what Actionable insight. I love actionable that. We insight. talk about this yeah. on, let's just do this. We want to put people into action. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Love it. Love exactly. it. So I've been doing that for about 12 years with these companies. And um, about four years or five years ago, my mother-in-law actually went through a lot of health problems. Mm. And she has been sick for a number of years prior to that. But this was a very uh, sort of serious illness. And unfortunately, she passed away a couple oh, of years ago. I'm sorry. But when I do see, um, what I did see at that point was that it was, it was sort of a similar thing where she would go to the hospital, come back, and she had all of this data to manage. So she had to keep track of her blood glucose, her blood pressure, how much she was eating, how much insulin she was taking, you know, what her weight was, how much she walked. There was a lot of this stuff. Mm. That it's overwhelming. It yep. is very mm. overwhelming. And she was also sort of in early stages of dementia at that point, which <sighs> made it even harder. And my wife, being a nurse, was able to sort of work with her on a lot of these things. But as you mentioned, you know, everyone has their busy lives yep. and everyone has their own family. So it's, it's sort of hard to keep that, uh, that engagement going. So um, what I did think about was, you know, I, I used to see her at some point trying to keep track of things on paper. And it used to be all over the place. It was. <laughs> Yeah. Not just uh, hard for her to understand what was going on, but even somebody looking at what she was doing Absolutely. was very hard to understand what was going on. So sort of the thing that took me back to technology is try to understand, you know, some of this thing has been solved in the corporate world, right? So, you know, how, how can we sort of use that on our side? Um, so I did look at what we had out there in terms of current technology and look at things like a Fitbit or an Apple Watch or, you know, uh, blood glucose monitors from OneDrop. We got uh, connected weighing scales from Nokia. We got blood blood pressure monitors. We have all of these things that are connected to our phones, mm -hmm. where you don't really need to write things down. You know, which in itself mm. can, can cause errors, can cause delays in, in in tracking things. So, we have all this information, but they bring it into your phone into different apps, and uh, right. and, and we all have you know a thousand apps on our phones, right? We're all doing work. We're all doing you know entertainment. You got Instagram. All of these things coming in, so you don't have pl a place to focus on your health. Right. right. 
So what I wanted to do was actually bring this out um, and, and think about the future. And I knew it wouldn't sort of help her at that stage, but think about the future from, from, from my perspective uh, you know, and the next generation that's going into that is that we have all this information in there. We want to be able to just bring it in, aggregate it, and provide the insight that we need. Mm -hmm. So another thing that I noticed was that it ended up being that she needed to know too much about medical medicine, right? Too much about her body. Yes. And I think, like you said, with everything else going on, you don't really need to know every single detail. I need to keep this at this level, my blood pressure at this level, my weight at this level, my water intake at certain levels. Like there's a, too much, it's very overwhelming. If, so this was just built for that. And if you're not an expert in any one of those key metrics, it exactly. could confuse you or cause panic because all of a sudden you look at something and say, mm -hmm. is that good, bad, otherwise? Absolutely, and that's exactly what the case was. So, so I wanna ask you about Ma Mango Mirror's glanceable feedback loop. Um, you said actionable. How does that drive behavioral change in someone that uses the app? Right. So the major difference that we see between um, apps like, for example, your Fitbit or if you've got an Apple Watch, right? So they always provide you with some sort of a feedback, whether it's a notification that tells you to stand or you've done exercise and things like that, right? But the problem is that you don't get a full picture of what's happening, right? right. And uh, you've got to go in through multiple apps and search it, and it's a very active action, right? So it's not a passive action. You've got to really go in and see what it is, which means you already need to be dedicated to that process. Right. right. So what we wanted to bring it out was sort of similar to, and the mirror, the name exists for a reason because it sort of works as a mirror, right? You, you glance at your mirror in the mornings and at nights, but it's enough to sort of give you that feedback to go out and face the day, right, and understand what, what's going on with your life. So in a similar concept, and you know, there's been many studies around glanceable feedback as well as that, and similar to your car, like you don't actually um, uh, make a conscious effort to see how, how you're driving, how fast, all the time. You're actually focusing on driving, but you are doing glances to understand yes. that um, you are at the speed right. limit, right? Absolutely. So basically, it's the same thing. So if you have the information in front of you in the mornings and you sort of see how you slept, you might say, okay, maybe tonight I got to get to bed a bit earlier. Or if you, ha if you come back in the evenings and you see your steps compared to the goal you set yourself and you didn't do that well, you know, at least you set yourself for the it's next day to do it. It's a reminder to do that. Yep. So, and having it all in one place and having it built to be actionable with the alerts that are set based on predefined limits allows you to set the goals that you want and it basically provides the feedback to allow you to sort of live and reflect your best life, which is our tagline. And I love that it's customizable. Yes. You know, reflect your best exactly. life. Exactly. Right? I think that's really, really important and all of our needs are different. I mean, there's some commonalities across all of us when it comes to our health, but there right. are some, you know, challenges and struggles that people face depending on what disease they may have or age and stage they are in life and this what I love about this tool it's good for every age and stage of life is it not absolutely it is so whether you are actually a fitness um, enthusiast so you actually want to keep track of the um, amount of uh, exercise you're doing or if you want to keep track of nutrition you're actually going on a low carb diet whatever it is you want to keep track of it you can do that there um, and as you get older as well like for, we, I built this again thinking about my mother-in-law because a lot of the times that she wouldn't understand what time it was and I, I didn't I didn't do enough research to understand the impact of dementia at that point yes um, but then as I did more research I understood just the impact of having a visual clock itself makes a big difference for them to know what time it is right mm -hmm. and so this one works in a way it's sort of built for them as well and it's focused on that to actually provide them with the things like the clock you know we're going to add things like reminders in there for medication in there but it also allows you to actually show your um, Apple photos so you know your children can actually share photos yes. with them or you can share photos from their from their um, earlier stages in life and things like that so it sort of works as as a nice display for them on their life that they've lived. Oh, and you know that, you know, I've talked on the show about completing my professional designation in aging, and, mm -hmm. and I truly believe that we all deserve to live well until we don't. Absolutely. And ageism is alive and well. How wonderful to be able to, with dignity, be able to provide our aging population who may be struggling with that feedback, with, with those reminders of their family, and, and with some dignity, allow them to feel like they still have a little bit of control. Absolutely. And, and the other piece around this was, again, like I said, the similar process where, so my wife is a registered nurse, but still she did not have access to actually what was going on with her mother. Like yes. She actually went there. So one of the things that this could do is, you know, a, a child could actually have this in their own house. They don't need to be with the, with the parent itself, and they can keep track of, okay, did she have a good sleep? You know, if she's wearing things like the Fitbit, did she have a good sleep? How much did she walk? Oh, my what goodness, Dave. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff. You know, one of the biggest stressors, and I, I think you can relate to this, mm -hmm. Todd. I mean, we're at the stage in our life where you still have young children, or relatively young, some younger than others, <laughs> um, in our lives. And then we have aging parents yep. or family members that we care about deeply. And, and 
you're trying to be everything to everyone. In fact, right. I just had a conversation very early this morning with a teacher uh, about a wellness event coming up that I'm going to do with, with the teachers. And she's struggling with that. And her family lives in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. And the feeling, that horrible feeling, like I need to be in two places at once and I can't do that, that is a wonderful way to stay connected with your loved ones, whether they're around the corner or, or five hours down the road, and to be able to at least get some of that feedback so that Absolutely. you're feeling like you're in the loop. But Absolutely. it also gives the parent a bit more, the pa my parent, uh, a bit more sense of freedom because yes. I'm not on the phone with them every two hours going, okay, it's lunchtime. Did you did you check your glucose? Right. Did you have something to eat? Did, did you, you know, right, right. It gives what them a sense of autonomy. Exactly. This is what excites me about yeah. technology and healthcare. I mean, it's so, it's so exciting. We've only got a couple of minutes before we take a break, but there's a word that I'm very familiar with and certainly someone like you, which, which I won't pretend to have anywhere near the experience that you do, but people are hearing something about machine learning. Mm -hmm. What does that mean and why should we care? Yeah, so machine learning sort of at, at the basic level is uh, taking huge amounts of data and actually finding patterns within them or even doing predictions. So, so it's, uh, the machine can do a lot more predictions with data points than humans can. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's sort of why it's determined machine learning. And also you don't need to give the machine learning a specific input to say, okay, I'm looking for this. The machine will actually take all the data and say, okay, I find these things, here's the anomalies that I see. And that's something you know, as part of this that I wanted to do. I mean, I come from that background. So I wanted to take this data and we actually have this as a, as a secondary uh, process is that it takes all of your data and actually processes it using the latest machine learning technologies in there that could act, that could then do things like predict right so for example if you are into weight loss as an example if you give it the information around your weight the nutrition and the exercise that you, that you're actually doing it can actually predict your weight in the next few weeks six weeks so it gives you that incentive to say okay if I'm on this path this is where <laughs> I would be and that's that's another uh, reason for you to continue on that path. and setting reasonable expectations Absolutely. and allowing us to be accountable and also showing us way to empower ourselves I think is really really Absolutely. important you really are thinking about everything yeah. yeah. He's gone from working with company CEOs to individual CEOs. Well, yes. and that's what we're about here, yeah. right? I mean, this, this, let's just do this in the Better Together Health movement that we are really pushing is, is really to bring healthcare professionals, people like yourself and everyday people together, empower them with education, technology, so they can become the CEO of their health. And clearly, Mango Mirror is merging those two with good story behind it to make that difference. Absolutely. You know, I commend you for the work that you're doing. We've got lots more to share about this amazing tool, but we're going to take a quick break here and stay tuned because you're going to want to find out how this app can be used in a wide range of ways, how easy it is to download, and how you can implement it into your daily living to make a difference in the health and well-being for your family. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Let's Just Do This. I'm Todd Miller, along with Margaret Wallace Duffy. And uh, we're talking with Dave Dubier, who is the founder of Mango Mirror. And while you were watching that wonderful video, I downloaded the Mango Mirror app. I've not used it yet, but... Uh, That's how perfect. simple it is to do. And right. you, too, can do that. So love that video, Dave, because it does really just show you simply the steps to take uh, to download this app and to get started, which is so important. Absolutely. I will put that away so that I don't distract myself. Okay. Um, one of the interesting things that w when entrepreneurs start something, uh, they want to get into the mechanics of doing what it is that is their passion. Mm -hmm. You actually did something a little different, and you made sure that you focused on privacy and security, especially with our health metrics. That information in the wrong hands is, is dangerous. Why did you focus on that so intently? Yeah, so that's one of my core values, that I, I believe that everybody's data is private and should be secured accordingly. So no matter where we started, even though we are a small start, a startup with sort of limited resources, I focused privacy and security as the core of everything that we mm -hmm. do, right? So I want to make sure that if you want to think about it from a sort of high level of company perspective, more of an Apple as opposed to Google and Facebook, right? So we want to make sure that all of the data is private and secure. So to start off with, we don't ask for a lot of personally identifiable information, right? So when you, if you looked at the sign up, it's just your email address. Yep. We don't ask for a lot of other data in there. So we, we do that. The second thing is that we actually store everything encrypted. So whether it's your email address or any, any other data that could be personally identifiable. So if you use location for the weather as an example, all of that is encrypted and stored on a database and we actually run everything on the latest Amazon Web Services technology. So this is technology that is being used by the major healthcare mm. system in the mm -hmm. US and anyone else. So we built the whole platform on that with that core value. So even in the case it gets hacked, 
there is no data that is available to be identified, right? So it's, everything is complete. That's very cool. It's, it's very reassuring and, mm -hmm. and yeah. really, really important. What I'd like to do now, Dave, is really talk about who can can benefit from having this tablet or tablets in their homes. Mm -hmm. uh, because what I love about this is that it really is for so many people, for so many applications. So let's let's get your perspective on on the benefits and, and who can implement this. Right. So um, like I said, I think for the most part, um, you would have people who are already into it. So if somebody's into the health and fitness and want to keep track, you know, this is a great way of keeping track of that information. Um, but on, on the on the on the flip side to that is people who have a specific goal in mind. So whether you're actually recovering from some uh, from some sort of medical uh, procedure that you've had, um, whether you're actually trying to lose weight or you're trying to be on a specific diet for medical reasons, this is a great, um, a, a, a great product for that. So you can actually track all that information, have it displayed, and sort of make sure that you are on track. Um, and this, the secondary piece to it is the ability to share this data with oh, yeah. your health care provider. Oh. Right? Do you know, there's been so much discussion, and I've been on, in some heated debates on Twitter mm -hmm. um, with change makers in healthcare. Um, you know, doctors are still using fax machines fax machines yeah. and you know there's a lot of talk about electronic medical records and the need and importance of mm -hmm. that data being transferred but not just for the healthcare perspective but also for the patient to have some control of their experience and their health i love the fact that this has the ability for that data to be transformed or transmitted to a healthcare professional because often as you said in earlier in our discussion Things can get lost in the gap, not yep. because we want to, but maybe we misunderstand. And then, you know, our doctor can only be as good as the information they're given. Absolutely. And this technology helps to bridge that gap. Absolutely, yeah. So the three sort of core pillars of Mangomura, one is to give you the information so you can make informed decisions. Um, the second piece is the machine learning that we spoke about. So you actually have this technology behind it that can actually help you. But the third piece is sort of what I feel is the core piece is the actual involvement of the healthcare provider in your yes. life. So whether it's a weight loss clinic, whether it's a diabetes clinic, whether it's your doctor actually looking at the information, or whether you have a personal coach. You can have a personal coach, you know, in the U.S., in the U.K., it doesn't matter. Um, what they can do is just sign up for our program, and you as a user can authorize them. If you authorize them to see your data, they get uh, a web dashboard on, on, on the web that they can log into and actually look at your data. So wow. they can track your data, you know, uh, sort of on a daily basis, see where things are, give you immediate data-driven feedback to help sort of change anything that needs to be changed. And that's wow. Sort of What's the name of that program for for someone that wants to sign up as a as a, like a healthcare professional. Yep. So we call that platform the Mango Connect okay. platform, and we have sort of two options for that. One is if you're a personal coach, you get sort of 10, uh, 10 users free on the pro on the platform, nice. and we have a fee for uh, organizations that want to join it as well. Wow, so what an amazing tool as a business owner, I love yeah. this, or as a healthcare professional that wants to reach more people, uh, but you can do it anywhere, on the go Absolutely. and in real time. Yep. They're able to see, if, if, you, if you're given permission, they're able to see in real time what the person that they're, they're supporting or coaching Absolutely. is doing. Yep. And, amazing. And we're also going to provide them with the machine learning insights as well. So as a healthcare provider, you will get some additional insights from wow. machine learning if you do set alerts. So if you are a provider, but you only want to know when this, you know, when a specific patient's blood glucose level is is above their um, their target for three days in a row, then we can do that and actually alert you at that point in time. So you call can them, action. say, come in, we need to talk. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Absolutely. It, this is the future of healthcare, <clears throat> in my opinion, and it really does help to empower patients to be part of uh, their health and and to be involved in making decisions accordingly. That's, Absolutely. I love that. Great. What are some of the other benefits? Who who else could you see really benefiting? I know Todd, you we talked about age parents. That's a really important piece too, isn't it? That is a very important piece. And um, what, what, what I found now is that the data that needs, it needs to be actually shared with a lot more people. So uh, it's not just the aging parents, but as an example, if you were to go to visit your doctor and you actually want to share some information with them, you could actually have all the information on your phone that you've tracked and go to them and share it with them. If they're not on the Mango Connect platform, you can share it with them. From your device. From your device itself. Fabulous. So you can share all that information. And as you said, that's important because there's so many transcription errors. When people are looking at it and writing the incorrect measurement Absolutely. down, they go in, the doctor goes, oh my goodness, we have to right. deal with this. Right. When it's actually just a... 
Right, and yeah. it also doesn't give you a full picture because you've, you're putting things down in different pieces of paper. There's no you context. Had, there's no context to yeah. it to it in terms of maybe what, what you had to eat, for example, that had time a specific impact. Time of day, all that kind of stuff, yeah. yeah. I also see this as an amazing tool for young families. Mm -hmm. You know, I, as an internationally certified with infants and doing a lot of speaking, as I will be at the baby show mm -hmm. coming up shortly, uh, parents that there's so much, new parents have so much information they have to take in and adapt, not just for their baby, but for that postpartum mother. Right. Who who their body is changing and there's lots going on with them. Maybe they've had a C-section. It can be really overwhelming. I see that in my clinic every single day. Can you see that too as a user? I mean, you've got two young children. You could see that as a yeah, benefit. Yeah, absolutely. And that's sort of the biggest benefit, I think, as a new mom or, or anyone that has a, as a growing family. It's the importance of actually knowing what's happening in your body has is, is become increasingly important. But there's so much of data around it and understanding that is basically not available right now. So what this does is bridge that gap and just provides you with the metrics that you need to understand for you to live the life that you want to live. Absolutely. So moving forward with Mango Mirror, I mean, mm -hmm. this is this is a young startup company, and you've had. I mean, I, I said I think it was about a year ago that we met. Yep. I mean, it was an amazing person at Economic Development that connected us too. You know, I love that. I love to be connected with people that are making a difference, and I've watched you, you know, really transform this idea. Mm -hmm. What, can you give us a little sneak peek into what you also sure. see maybe in the future? I, I love to hear where your brain's going. Yeah, sure. So. Um I think we I started this about two and a half years ago and it's it's sort of as you, as you know went through a few iterations in there so my goal was always to have a display that would provide this information um, over the time where, it's, where where things have changed is how that gets displayed right so you know we have things like a smart mirror that we've actually built um, that we used um, that will provide this information so you don't need a tablet you can just replace your mirror in the bathroom with a smart mirror and it provides you all the same context and same information in there um, apart from that we also have things like bigger displays so if you are in a doctor's office, so you could actually allow this data to be shared with your doctor right there, right then mm. and there to share that information. And speaking of that, you've got a tablet here in studio with yep. us that's just displaying just some, you know, a, a typical dashboard. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody just a little bit, because this is what I love, and I, I am going to absolutely, at Wallace for Wellness, we are going to have this, and I'll talk to you about a bigger display. But I love the fact that for, I don't know, $40, you can go yep. and get a tablet like this. And as you can see there, you know, on the camera, um, your exercise minutes, you know, how many steps you've taken. It's, it's being integrated with Apple Health there. Tell us a little bit about what, how you can customize that dashboard. Yep, so uh, like you mentioned, these Android tablets are cheaper, I mean, cheap and getting cheaper by the day, so it, 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 it depends on what size of a tablet you want. You can get anything from a seven inch tablet to a 12 inch tablet based on you know, your, your, your needs. Um, and then within the app, that the uh, iOS app, you just choose the metrics that you want and you can choose how to display them. So everyone has different eyesight. As an example, we wanna make sure that you know, I can see maybe yes. one widget of my steps in one screen. You know, some people wanna have, I wanna see my steps with my heart rate and I want to see the impact of my heart rate on my exercise so I want to sort of see them together so you can set them the layout the way you want them we have beautiful uh, dash um, backgrounds that you could choose nice. so we have night sky backgrounds built in there so sort of give you a little a better beautiful display to see your data on mm -hmm. uh, but you can you have full control over what you can see how you want it to, to be set up, how often you want things to rotate. You can do all that stuff. I love the small touches like the inspirational quotes. Just to go yeah. in there and start Absolutely. your day with a little bit of sunshine. Yeah, yep. and, and we do know mental health is a big thing and it yes. is really important and I can see this playing a role uh, in mental health as well. Yep, and um, I think we spoke about this before as well as that we also have uh, personal notes in there. So you could actually put in inspirational notes that you specifically want to see every morning in there and have it displayed to you. You know what? Very cool. This is very exciting stuff, and I know there's more to come. Um, so we've only got a, at about a minute left. Um, we always here at Let's Just Do This like to get behind the people that are mm -hmm. doing these cool things. Can you tell us something that maybe most people in your world wouldn't know about you, Dave, this incredible guy and inventor of Mango Mirror, that yep. maybe people wouldn't know? Sure. Well, I think one of the things that people are always surprised that I don't have any sort of health background, healthcare background. And, you know, the reason that I was doing this was very focused on health. But I think that's something that, that people don't sort of get right away when they talk to me. They feel that I came from some sort of a background that yeah. has something mm -hmm. to do with health yeah. in there as well. But I think this is this shows sort of the importance of, you know, going through a situation and wanting to make change. And that's exactly what happened to me is that I come from a technology background, but seeing what happened and knowing that would, will happen to me in the future, you know, as you get older, is how do you actually make a change that can benefit both you and everybody else in the world. You know what? 
Thank you so much Thank for you. coming to Let's Just Do This. You know, your presence here, your knowledge, and what you're putting out into the world is going to make a difference. And we couldn't be more honored to be able to share it with, with all of our listeners and viewers. Thanks for coming into the studio. Thank and we're going to have much. you back, right? Thank we're going to have you back. For sure. <laughs> so if you want more information about Mango Mirror, you can go to mangomirror.com. Of course, you can follow them on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram, all Absolutely. the platforms that I follow them on, too. And Todd... Learn something new every day that we're in studio here at Let's Just Do This. Absolutely. I'm glad we're going to break because I want to play with the app now and learn Absolutely. a few things. And you need Great. to download it too. It only takes just a second to do. So until next time here from the entire team at Let's Just Do This and TV Kojiko, until next time, be well.